السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ مائی انٹیلیجنٹ اسمارٹ چلڈرن ہاؤ آر یو ماشاء اللہ ماشاء اللہ می اللہ سبحانہ و تعالیٰ پٹ برکا ان یور انٹیلیجنس آمین لیٹس میک دا دعا این دین آم آئی جسٹ وانٹ ٹو ٹاک ٹو یو اباؤٹ پریویس لیسن از ویل ربی شرح علی صدری و یسر علی عمری وحل القدت من لسانی یفقہ قولی رب نازدنا علم آمین لاسٹ ٹائم آئی فگاٹ ٹو مینشن ون تھنگ and that was the lesson learned from the behavior of the uh, sister of Musa alayhi salam. Like she was so smart and intelligent that she didn't let anyone suspect that she was the baby's sister. Like she could have shouted out that, oh, this is my baby brother and just take good care of him. No, she didn't do that. She was smart and she knew that it was dangerous. Now, my dear children, What do we learn from this? The lesson is that we don't share our family's secret with strangers because that might be dangerous. We are not going to let any stranger know about our family members or what happens in our house. Sometimes our parents argue with each other or they talk about something that they don't want other people to know. So we are not allowed and we shouldn't be doing that, like telling others everything that goes on in our house. We shouldn't do that. Okay, Baba? This is really important to know. Now we are going to move on with our story. Musa alayhi salam grew up to be a very strong and confident young man, but he knew that he was a Bani Israeli. He knew that he belonged to a Muslim family and he was not the son of Pharaoh. So he used to go out and look at all the uh, workers from Bani Israel and uh, Pharaoh's people beating them up and uh, doing cruel things to them. So he had a very soft heart towards his own nation. One day he saw a Bani Israeli person crying out for help uh, because the other man was from Pharaoh's nation. And they were both fighting with each other. Musa alayhi salam being a just person, he went and he tried to stop the fight. And in that fight, unintentionally, he punched that man. And the man went down on the floor and he died right there and then. Musa alayhi salam did not have the intention of killing him at all. And he was just trying to stop the fight. Musa alayhi salam said, Astaghfirullah, O oh Allah, this was the action of shaitan. I didn't want to do that. O oh Allah, please forgive me. So Musa alayhi salam ran, ran away. Next day he came back to the same place. He was a bit curious and he wanted to know what is happening around and what happened to that man, the one who died yesterday. And he saw the same Bani Israeli man fighting with another man from Pharaoh's nation. So Musa alayhi salam said, you are a very quarrelsome person. You fight all the time. But he still uh, moved forward to help him. But the Bani Israeli person thought that Musa alayhi salam is coming to hit him. So he said, are you trying to kill me the way you killed the other person yesterday? The man from Pharaoh's nation heard that and he ran away to tell the pharaoh that it was Musa alayhi salam who punched him and the uh, person died <clears throat> so Musa alayhi salam got scared and another man came and he said to Musa alayhi salam that Musa you should run away from this place because pharaoh is trying to get you killed in return so Musa alayhi salam without getting any food or clothes or shoes or any ride he just started to run towards a direction and he kept on making dua that oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala show me guide me uh, to the right uh, place so he kept on running until he reached a small town where he saw that there were some people getting water from a well for their animals and there were two girls who would move forward and then come back move forward and then come back and they had their own animals too so He stood up and he asked those girls, why are you standing over here and why don't you get water for your animals? They said that we are girls and our father is an old man. He can't come uh, to get water for the animals. So we are just waiting for these men to go away so that we can get water easily. So Musa alayhi salam thought of helping them and he took the animals 
get them the water, hand them over back to the girls, and went back and sat under the tree. And he made a very beautiful dua. Rabbi inni lima anzalta ilayya min khayrin faqeer. Oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, whatever kind of blessing you are going to send down on me, I am a beggar for that. I am begging you for that. Like he didn't have food, shoes, clothes, uh, shelter, nothing at all. And he was sitting over there. And guess what? The dua got accepted. The girl came back and she said, my father is saying that he wants to reward you for the service that you provided us. So come with me. So he went to the house. The father talked to him, asked him about his story. Musa Islam told him the whole story. And the father said, now you are safe over here. Don't worry, you are out of the reach of Pharaoh. You are in another country. And he said that I am going to get one of my daughters married to you and you can stay with us for eight or ten years and you can serve me and you can take care of my animals. So after making this dua, Musa al-Islam got a wife, a house, a job, food, clothing, whatever he needed. The dua was so beautiful. So you must remember this dua and memorize it so that you can ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the dua is small but the meaning is so vast right oh so, my dear children what did we learn from this part of the story the first lesson is that sometimes we make mistakes unintentionally and we don't plan to do them but what should we do right after that mistake we should ask for forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah can forgive us. He is Ghafoorur Rahim. Okay, my dear children, always, always do that. Ask for forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The second thing that we learned is that if we help others just for Allah's pleasure, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to send help. And Allah's help is going to be more than whatever we have done. It is going to be a bigger reward. Okay, so always be helpful towards others, right? Inshallah, until next time, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika nashadu la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk.